Hello, and welcome to the Christadelphian Daily Readings for the 29th of September. Our first portion today is taken from the first book of Chronicles, chapter 12. Now these are they that came to David to Ziklag, while he yet kept himself close, because of Saul the son of Kish. And they were among the mighty men, helpers of the war. They were armed with bows, and could use both the right hand and the left, in hurling stones and shooting arrows out of a bow, even of Saul's brethren of Benjamin. The chief was Ahizer, then Joash, the sons of Shemaiah, the Gibeathite, and Jeziel, and Pelet, the sons of Asmaveh, and Berakah, and Jehu the Antothite, and Ismaiah the Gibeonite, a mighty man among thirty, and over the thirty, and Jeremiah, and Jehaziel, and Johanan, and Josabad the Gedarathite, Elzuiah, and Jeremoth, and Beeliah, Shemariah, and Shephatiah the Harifite, Elkanah, and Jeseah, and Azareel, and Joezer, and Jeshobiam, the Korites, and Joela, and Zebediah, the sons of Jehoram of Gedor. And of the Gadites, there separated themselves unto David in the hold to the wilderness, men of might, and men of war fit for the battle, that could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lions, and were swift as the rose upon the mountains. Ezer the first, Obadiah the second, Eliah the third, Mishmana the fourth, Jeremiah the fifth, Attai the sixth, Eliel the seventh, Johanan the eighth, Alzabad the ninth, Jeremiah the tenth, Maccabeni the eleventh. These were of the sons of Gad, captains over the host. One of the least was over a hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. These are they that went over Jordan in the first month, when it had overflown all his banks, and they put to flight all of them of the valleys, both toward the east and toward the west. And there came of the children of Benjamin and Judah to the hold unto David. And David went out to meet them, and answered and said unto them, If ye be come peaceably unto me to help me, mine heart shall be knit unto you. But if ye be come to betray me to mine enemies, seeing there is no wrongdoing in mine hands, the God of our fathers look thereon, and rebuke it. Then the Spirit came upon Amasai, who was the chief of the captains, and he said, Thine are we, David, and on thy side, thou son of Jesse, peace, peace be unto thee, and peace be to thy helpers, for thy God helpeth thee. Then David received them, and made them captains of the band. And there fell some of Manasseh to David, when he came with the Philistines against Saul to battle. But they helped them not, for the lords of the Philistines, upon advisement, sent him away, saying, He will fall to his master Saul, to the jeopardy of our heads. As he went to Ziklag, there fell to him of Manasseh, Adna, and Jozabad, and Jedahiel, and Michael, and Jozabad, and Elihu, and Zilthai, captains of the thousands that were of Manasseh. And they helped David against the band of the rovers, for they were all mighty men of valour, and were captains in the host. For at that time, day by day, there came to David to help him until it was a great host, like the host of God. 
and these are the numbers of the bands that were ready armed to the war, and came to David to Hebron, to turn the kingdom of Saul to him, according to the word of the Lord. The children of Judah, that bear shield and spear, were six thousand and eight hundred, ready arms to the war. Of the children of Simeon, mighty men of valour for the war, seven thousand and one hundred. Of the children of Levi, four thousand and six hundred. And Jehoiada was the leader of the Aaronites, and with him were three thousand and seven hundred. And Zadok, a young man, mighty of valour, and of his father's house, twenty and two captains. And of the children of Benjamin, the kindred of Saul, three thousand. For hitherto the greatest part of them had kept the ward of the house of Saul. And of the children of Ephraim, twenty thousand and eight hundred, mighty men of valour, famous throughout the house of their fathers, and of the half-tribe of Manasseh, eighteen thousand, which were expressed by name to come and make David king, and of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were two hundred, and all their brethren were at their command. Of Zebulun, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, with all instruments of war, fifty thousand, which could keep rank, they were not of double heart. And of Naphtali a thousand captains, and with them with shield and spear thirty and seven thousand. And of the Danites, expert in war, twenty and eight thousand and six hundred. And of Asher, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, forty thousand. And on the other side of Jordan, of the Reubenites, and of the Gadites, and of the half-tribe of Manasseh, with all manner of instruments of war for the battle, an hundred and twenty thousand. All these men of war, that could keep rank, came with a perfect heart to Hebron, to make David king over all Israel, and all the rest also of Israel were of one heart to make David king. And there they were, with David, three days, eating and drinking, for their brethren had prepared for them. Moreover, they that were nigh unto them, even unto Issachar, and Zebulun, and Naphtali, brought bread on asses, and on camels, and on mules, and on oxen, and meat, meal, cakes of figs, and bunches of raisins, and wine, and oil, and oxen, and sheep abundantly, for there was joy. Our second portion is taken from Ezekiel chapter 25. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against the Ammonites, and prophesy against them. And say unto the Ammonites, Hear the word of the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God, Because thou saidst, Aha, against my sanctuary, when it was profaned, and against the land of Israel, when it was desolate, and against the house of Judah, when they went into captivity. Behold, therefore I will deliver thee to the men of the east for a possession, and they shall set their palaces in thee, and make their dwellings in thee. They shall eat thy fruit, and they shall drink thy milk. And I will make Rabbah a stable for camels, and the Ammonites a crouching place for flocks, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. For thus saith the Lord God, Because thou hast clapped thine hands, and stamped with the feet, and rejoiced in heart with all thy despite against the land of Israel. Behold, therefore 
I will stretch out mine hand upon thee, and will deliver thee for a spoil to the heathen, and I will cut thee off from the people, and I will cause thee to perish out of the countries. I will destroy thee, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Because that Moab and Seir do say, Behold, the house of Judah is like unto all the heathen. Therefore, behold, I will open the side of Moab from the cities, from his cities which are on his frontiers, the glory of the country, Beth Jeshimoth, Baalmion, and Kiriathaim, unto the men of the east with the Ammonites, and will give them in possession, that the Ammonites may not be remembered among the nations. And I will execute judgments upon Moab, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Because that Edom hath dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and hath greatly offended, and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom, by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God, Because the Philistines have dealt by revenge, and have taken vengeance with a despiteful heart, to destroy it for the old hatred. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will stretch out mine hand upon the Philistines, and I will cut off the Kerathims, and destroy the remnant of the sea coast, and I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes, and they shall know that I am the Lord, when I shall lay my vengeance upon them. Our third reading is taken from Luke chapter 22. Now the feast of unleavened bread drew nigh, which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Then they entered Satan into Judas, surnamed Iscariot, being of the number of the twelve. And he went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains how he might betray him unto them. And they were glad, and covenanted to give him money. And he promised, and sought opportunity to betray him unto them in the absence of the multitude. Then came the day of unleavened bread, when the Passover must be killed. And he sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare us the Passover, that we may eat. And they said unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare? And he said unto them, Behold, when you are entered into the city, there shall a man meet you, bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house where he entereth in. And ye shall say unto the good, good man of the house, The master saith unto thee, Where is the guest chamber, where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? And he shall show you a large upper room furnished. There make ready. And they went and found as he had said unto them. And they made ready the Passover. And when the hour was come, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him. And he said unto them, With desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof, until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup, and gave thanks, and said, Take this, and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine, 
until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took the bread, and gave thanks, and brake it, and gave unto them, saying, This is my body which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. Likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new testament in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man goeth, as it was determined. But woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. And they began to inquire among themselves, which of them it was that should do this thing. And there also was a strife among them, which of them should be accounted the greatest. And he said unto them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. But ye shall not be so. But he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he that is chief as he that doth serve. For where there is greater, he that sitteth at meat, or he that serveth, is not he that sitteth at meat? But I am among you as he that serveth. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. And I appoint unto you a kingdom, as my Father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee, both into prison and to death. And he said, I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day, before that thou shalt did thrice deny that thou knowest me. And he said unto them, When I sent you without purse and scrip and shoes, lacked ye anything? And they said, Nothing. Then said he unto them, But now, he that hath a purse, let him take it, and likewise his scrip, and he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment, and buy one. For I say unto you, that this that is written must yet be accomplished in me. And he was reckoned among the transgressors. For the things concerning me have an end. And they said, Lord, behold, here are two swords. And he said unto them, It is enough. And he came out and went, as he was wont, to the Mount of Olives. And his disciples also followed him. And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptation. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast, and kneeled down, and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was, as it were, great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And when he rose up from prayer, and was come to his disciples, he found them sleeping for sorrow. And said unto them, Why sleep ye? Rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. And while he yet spake, behold a multitude. And he that was called Judas, one of the twelve, 
went before them and drew near unto Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said unto him, Judas, betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? When they that were about him saw that what would follow, they said unto him, Lord, shall we smite with the sword? And one of them smote the servant of the high priest, and cut off his right ear. And Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye thus far. And he touched his ear, and healed him. Then Jesus said unto the chief priests, and the captains of the temple, and the elders which were come to, to him. Be ye come out, as against a thief, with swords and staves? When I was daily with you in the temple, ye stretched forth no hand against me. But this is your hour, and the power of darkness. Then took they him, and led him, and brought him into the high priest's house, and Peter followed afar off. And when they had kindled a fire in the midst of the hall, and were set down together, Peter sat down among them. But a certain maid beheld him as he sat by the fire, and earnestly looked upon him, and said, This man was also with him. And he denied him, saying, Woman, I know him not. And after a little while, another saw him and said, Thou art also of them. And Peter said, Man, I am not. And about the space of one hour after, another confidently affirmed, saying, Of a truth, this fellow also was with him, for he is a Galilean. And Peter said, Man, I know not what thou sayest. And immediately, while he yet spake, the cock crew. And the Lord turned and looked upon Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. And the men that howled Jesus mocked him and smote him. And when they had blindfolded him, they struck him on the face and asked him, saying, Prophesy, who is it that smote thee? And many other things blasphemously spake they against him. And as soon as it was day, the elders of the people and the chief priests and the scribes came together and they led him into their council saying, Art thou the Christ? Tell us. And he said unto them, If I tell ye, ye will not believe. And if I also ask you, ye will not answer me, nor let me go. Hereafter shall the Son of Man sit on the right hand of the power of God. Then said they all, Art thou then the Son of God? And he said unto them, Ye say that I am. And they said, What need we any further witnesses? For we ourselves have heard of his own mouth.